Hello Marvel Movies fans, Guardians of the Galaxy in particular. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yana and today we'll be doing painting by numbers inspired by the movie. This time I decided to support a Czech vendor and I purchased the painting there also because they had it nowhere else. Maluješ means you paint and milujeme malování podle čísel means we love painting by numbers. So let's see what they have for us. I must say it's much better wrapped than all the paintings I ever got from AliExpress. And the canvas looks very solid. And we have the paints, airtight sealed paints and some paint brushes. I'm a little confused that these are G2, G1 and then some normal numbers. Let's hope it's gonna be fine. This is the invoice for it, but what I'm surprised is that there is no cheat sheet. You know the piece of paper where you can see the same painting and you can have it as a reference as what numbers are where? Maybe it's somewhere in the canvas. Nope, it's not here. All right, we'll have to deal with it. I must say the canvas is much less wrinkled than the ones I'm getting from China, so thumbs up for that for sure. What I'm a little surprised is that there are lots and lots of the same symbols. You can see the G ones are here all over the place for no good reason. And it just adds something that will be visible in the final painting for no particular reason. And it's really, really gray not black so seeing all the small details will be a little tricky and without the sheet, cheat sheet I'm screwed So the brushes on the first look, they don't really look that different from the ones I usually get. There were a few threads that were hanging out of it. So we'll see. I don't understand the system and why it's supposed to be good. I mean, when there are numbers, consecutive numbers, you can easily grab the one that you want, but this you're You'll just spend time looking for the correct paint. It's just confusing to me. I'll probably get used to it, but I don't think it makes anyone's life easier, to be honest. The lines are so not visible that you really have to go like this on top of it just to see what's happening. For something that's supposed to be better and better quality, this didn't deliver to me. So we'll try to find some F1s and color them with the paint. All right, so that you're not bored while I'm painting, I'll do a little review of the Guardians of the Galaxy of the movie I've seen. Honestly, I think it's one of my favorite movies from the Marvel Universe. I like the characters, it's funny, it's goofy, and I love the soundtrack. My, one of my favorite characters is obviously the tree Groot. And the painting is Baby Groot from the second movie. When I first saw the movie, I was like, oh, it's another superhero thing. 
with unrelatable characters that are all the same and interchangeable. But surprisingly, I really fell in love with this one. It, I like when movies and even people can find in themselves to make fun of themselves, you know? Like, just not take the life and everything they're doing too serious. It always makes it more interesting for me and funny. I like when things are funny. Honestly, I'm not sure if I like the first movie better than the other one. They were both pretty really good. Usually they make the second movie just to squeeze more money from the franchise, but honestly, loved the second one as much as the first one, if not more. Did anybody else cry when Groot sacrificed himself in the first movie? Oh yeah, spoiler alerts, uh, I kind of forgot to say that, but since the movie is, what, seven years old right now? I think it's definitely a movie you should see in the cinema, because, like, the tricks, all the Marvel movies seem to be made for cinema in particular, and you lose part of the experience if you just watch it on TV. So this is the final painting. It took me about 24 hours to finish. There were so many details, I actually had to bring out the big guns or more like small guns. This brush is normally used for the nail art, but I needed it to do all the details of the painting. Here we go, baby group. It's very pretty. I was a little mad that the lines are not very well visible, but like the result is perfect and you can tell nowhere that it's a painting by numbers. You can see no lines, no numbers. It really looks like a professional picture. 
the corners a little dirty because yeah your girl is messy and I just put my hand in it and smudge it all over but honestly you don't want to keep the sides anyway so I will crop it nicely and put it in the frame. So that's all I have to show you today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next Sunday and bye.